clearly, science has proven there's global climate change. So you can you know, live in a world where you, you, you don't want to acknowledge the realities of what's going on on our planet, but that's not the real world. Is there global warming? Oh, <clears throat> I think that, uh, Dan, unfortunately, a lot of the global warming myth has been exposed. And I think this bill is ideologically driven. It's not. It's not good for upstate New York because what it's going to do is people who uh, distribute gas, the petroleum, uh, the electric, their cost, their costs are going to double or triple. And where, how do they make up those costs? It goes to the small businesses and it goes to families and it's going to, it's going to dramatically increase the cost of, of energy. This cap and trade bill is a tax on energy. That's all it is. It's a tax on energy and it's based on some specious Global, global warming. That, whether or not there's real global warming, has not been determined. And to, to pass a bill that will cripple businesses in upstate New York, cripple them, is the wrong way to go. Already in this debate, we've heard Anne-Marie Burkle's platform. Big tax cuts for businesses, businesses that go overseas, for the wealthiest individuals, help for the oil companies. Sounds like what we did under George W. Bush. It didn't work then. It's not going to work now. And denying science doesn't make it any better.